it's me, Ingenierea. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys about calculator techniques in surveying. The topic that I'm going to discuss is the probable error, standard deviation, and standard error. So, let's start. The example that I'm going to use is from the surveying book by Besavilla. The example is, from the measured values of distance AB, the following trials were recorded. Trial number 1, 120.68 meters. Trial number 2, 120.84 meters. Trial number 3, 120.76 meters. Trial number 4, 120.64 meters. There are three questions in this example. First, find the probable error. Second, find the standard deviation. Third, find the standard error. For the first question, find the probable error. I'm using calculator Casio FX-350EX. So the first step is to press on your calculator. Next is press menu, then navigate statistics mode or press 2. Then select single variable or press 1. Carefully input the given data. When you are done, press AC. Input 0 0.6745. Then press Option. Scroll down. Select Variable. Next is select the standard deviation or press 5. Divided by square root of number size or press 6. The final answer for probable error equals positive negative 0 0.0299. For the second question, find the standard deviation. Then press option, scroll down, select variable. Next is select the standard deviation or press 5. The final answer for standard deviation equals positive negative 0 0.0887. For the third question, find the standard error. Then, press option. Scroll down, select variable. Next is select the standard deviation or press 5. Divided by square root of number size or press 6. The final answer for standard error equals positive negative 0 0.0443. This is the solution of Besavilla. You can see they have the same answer but a different way of solving. For me, I recommend this calculator technique for those students taking the board exam. But for those engineering students, I recommend the long solution to know the concept first. I hope you guys learned something new about this video. If you have any question about this video, just comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching. Bye!